Hi, hello, KDude85 here, and today we are going to talk about the problems with the heart's electrical signals. We're going to talk about four things today, atrial fibrillation, atrial tachycardia, normal sinus rhythm, and polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. So, first one, atrial fibrillation. So, the heartbeat is irregular with one of the atria, either the left atria, sorry, either the left atria or the right atria. Oh, sorry, the oracle is in upper part. This is the right atria. Okay, so this is causes to a shorter blood flow, which is leads to dizziness and shortness of breath. Atrial tachycardia is different, however. So there is a pacemaker called the sinal atrial node, and the electrical impulses created by that pacemaker, by the sinal atrial, I mean the pacemaker, sorry, the sinal atrial node can get displaced, and then the uh, electrical impulses created by that can be different, and that is called atrial tachycardia. Now we'll go over normal sinus rhythm. This generates normal sinus rhythm is when there is a very specific read, um, rhythm on an ECG readout, and it can be used as a sign to show heart pathology. So um, it it can show the heart is beating in a irregular way and that's how it normally beats and that can show some various diseases polymorphic ventricular tachycardia is like atrial tachycardia and that's when the pacemaker gets displaced and that's when the ventricles start abnormally um, beating and they beat very fast so to recap we have covered four problems today with the heart's electrical system atrial fibrillation atrial tachycardia, normal sinus rhythm, and polymorphic ventricular, tachy ventricular tachycardia. Thank you for joining me on this video, and KDude85 out. Bye-bye.